Hello everybody, today I want to quickly look again at the sweep node and how the sweep node can create or will create multiple curves from a single piece of geometry and it's something you need to be aware of when using this node. So if I look back through the last lesson which I believe was number 29, um, I can see that I've got this add node, let me add these points, right? So first of all we create two points, we made a line out of this, we created a cross section which was this circle and then we use the sweep node in order to create a surface using this cross section and this spline, this, this line here. Um, then we reverse this in order to correct the normals and we were good to go. Um, but let's say, for example, I'm going to change out this geometry. Let me put a grid node here instead. So now I'm going to put a grid node and I'm going to add it to this first input, which is where you put the, the curves. Um, but I'm going to make it, first of all, I'm just going to make it a row columns by two. Okay, so we've just got this simple plane. And then I'm going to add this to here. Let's create our sweep node and reverse them. Okay, and I'm going to also remove these points. Okay, so you can see now I've just basically created this surface, uh, which is using this cross section from here, and it's creating it around the edges of this, this polygon. This looks great. This is what I would expect. What about if I start to add more to this, some more resolution to this grid? So let's do that. Let's create more. So maybe I'll create eight rows eight columns let's go in our sweep node again okay nice so i can see that i can create these uh, surfaces according to even what resolution i have down each edge of this grid that looks nice all right let me zoom in a bit closer and i can see i'm getting this strange flickering i don't know if you can see that on the screen but there's like a strange flickering when i'm moving around here I don't see the flicker in here, in the corner, but I do see it as I go inside. There we go. What's causing that? Well, the reason is that I actually have multiple pieces of geometry sitting on top of each other. So I have one piece of geometry here. I've got another curve that's creating a piece of geometry here, another here, another here, and this is all overlapping. It's not all merged together as you would expect. Uh, and I can prove that if I, let me just create a, an extrude node, um, poly extrude. And uh, I'm just doing this for display purposes. So I go into my spline, I'm going to go to thickness ramp, and I'm going to reduce the value. Look what happens. They're all separated. So I have multiple pieces of geometry, and this is something you need to be aware of when using the sweep node. It will create these separate pieces of geometry and it won't automatically merge them all together. Okay, that's important to know. So as you can see now when I go in, move around, that flickering has gone. But of course if I move them together again, now I'm getting the flickering. Here we go. Back to full. Oh, there we go. All right. So, please be aware of that. Hope this was useful. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or criticisms, of course, please leave comments down below. I'll be getting back to you. And you guys have a great day. Thank you very much.